Welcome, welcome to my second video. My name is Phil with uh, Christianity over a cup of coffee. So, for this video, I plan to do something slightly different. I plan to go a different route. Systematic theology. Theology is a nice, interesting word. It comes from two Greek words. Theos, meaning God, and logos, meaning word or study. So literally, you can think of it as words about God. Theology is a study of God and his relationship to everything that he has created. See, as Christians, we do believe that God exists. We do believe that he has chosen to reveal himself. And... He has made that revelation readily available to mankind. So now, if you've picked up and read your Bible, which I do believe you have, and if you haven't, start doing it. But when you pick up your Bible and read it, you start realizing that all these truths are packed between Genesis to Revelation in, in a way that's not systemized. What well, our job is to find a way of systematically pulling that information out of the Bible so that we can understand and be able to learn more about who God is within context and, and within the content of the Bible. In our attempt to know God and to make him known, this presupposes that knowledge about God has been revealed. This Christian life is predicated on doctrine, which is established through the study of theology. You cannot have doctrine without theology. Doctrine is determined by studying the Bible. Theology is determined by studying the Bible. It all boils back to the Bible. You've got to get back to the Bible. By the way, would you help us to grow our channel? Just hit subscribe if you enjoy the content. Don't forget to click that little bell icon and that will notify you of any new videos that I will be posting. We try to keep it as simple, as straightforward as possible. As I learn, you're going to learn. And let's just grow together. Why study theology? So the first reason why I've chosen to study theology is that it provides clarity about who God is and what he is all about. And secondly, puts in order all those thoughts about who and what God is. The other reason why I study, why I chose to study theology is because it matures me in God. It matures me about God. It, it makes me a mature Christian because you're spending time studying the word. And by studying the word, it leads me to the next portion is that it helps to make you holy. Romans 12 verse 1 and 2 says this, Therefore I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Studying theology makes us focus on God. It makes us focus on His Word. I want to have a high view of who God is and I want to give him the reverence and the respect and the honor that is due to him as a created to the creator. These are some of the various different topics that we're going to be looking at over the next several videos or quite a few videos actually. But I hope that by watching these videos you're going to grow in your Christianity, you're going to grow in your faith, you're going to look at what it is that we're studying, you're going to enjoy this. The first aspect or the first thing we're going to be studying, bibliology. Bibliology comes from the Greek word biblios, meaning books, and logos, as we said earlier, meaning words, study of. So it's the study of the book. It's the study of the Bible. Can we trust our Bible? The Bible that we're reading today was the same Bible that Moses started writing three and a half thousand years ago, that Paul wrote, that John wrote, and that Isaiah that Samuel even wrote it. Can we trust that it's the same book? How did we get the current Bible? How do we choose the 66 books that are currently in the Bible? And what about those missing verses? Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. But more on that. Okay, next we're going to move into another topic called theology proper. Well, as you kind of figured it out, theology is a bit more than just religious studies. It's, it now goes into all sorts of different fields. How do we separate all of these theologies so that we can zero in specifically on God and the Holy Spirit. And that's why it's called theology proper, the study of God. We're going to be looking at the dynamics of the, of the Trinity. We're going to be looking at God the Father. We're going to be looking at His attributes. We're going to be looking at 
what makes him so divine. We're going to be answering the questions of who is God. The next portion then we're going to move into is Christology. Again, from the Greek word Christos, meaning Christ, the anointed one, and Logos. We're going to be looking at his pre-existence. We're going to be looking at his pre-incarnation before he became a man. The next portion we're going to speak about is pneumatology. And we're going to be looking at the person of the Holy Spirit. We're going to be looking at what his function is, what it is that he does, what it is that he is out to accomplish. Um, We're going to be looking at his role in terms of writing the Bible as we currently have it. Next, after that, we're going to be studying anthropology. Now, anthropology is the study of man, but I don't want you to confuse it with the scientific anthropology, but we're going to be looking at anthropology from what the Bible says. So really, we're going to study man scripturally. Who man is, what his relationship is to God, what his relationship is to each other, why man is so important in God's creation, why man has been set apart as the pinnacle of the creation. But we're also going to start then looking at that point at what is wrong with man, and that being the sin issue, which then leads us into homartiology. Homartiology comes from the Greek word homatos, meaning sin, and logos, meaning word or study. So we're going to look at how sin affects man, we're going to be looking at what sort of sin there is, what the result of sin is going to be. Then we're going to look at the answer to sin, which is soteriology. Soto from the word savior, soterios, salvation. And in this, we're going to be looking at things like justification. We're going to look at sanctification. We're going to be zeroing in on Jesus' earthly ministry as the completion of that, of that salvation plan. We're going to then be looking at ecclesiology. What does ecclesiology mean? Well, ecclesiology comes from the Greek word ecclesia, which means assembly. Logos word, study of, the study of the assembly. So really what that is, is the study of the church. And what it is that the church's role is within the world today, how God has established his church, how Jesus is the head of that church, and what Jesus' role and, and function is within the church and the Holy Spirit's function. And we're going to be looking at how the church is supposed to interact with the world around it. Then thereafter, we're going to be looking at angelology, demonology, and satanology. Or what sort of angels we've got, what sort of demons we've got. We're going to be looking at our mortal enemy, Satan himself, and how God tends to deal with him. Which then leads us into eschatology. Eschatology comes from the word eschatos, meaning last things or last And really what this is going to be zeroing in on is we're going to be looking at the end times. We're going to be looking at different concepts. And we're going to try and make heads and tails of what it is that Revelation and Daniel has to say about these end times. So I just want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for being part of this video. I look forward to seeing you as we start climbing into all these different topics. And God bless. God bless. God bless.